Greetings and bienvenue. Um, very, first of all, I'd like to say a very big thank you for um, your comments. I saw them and they are really amazing. Thank you very much. Um, oh yes, from what you, as you can see, today is going to be another hands-only video. <laughs> okay, so um, I noticed a lot of, well, most of you said you like the crochet videos and I thought to myself, well, since I'm making, um, I was going to be making a beanie, so why don't I record that as well? And that it was that is what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to be making a beanie today and, well, let's get started. So, okay, also some, um, some of you said you wanted to see my crochet hook collection, but maybe I'll, I'll make a video of that. Um, at some point. So I'm going to be using this and this leftover one and this one if you can remember from my previous videos my um, my box of my case of stitch markers and today we're going to be using from my bag of hooks my 4 millimeter hook can you see that? Yeah. So that is what we're going to be do using today for today's videos. So I would see you soon. Beep. Okay, so we're back. So today I'm going to be. Um, so I'm making my foundation chain now. If you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna try. Oh, I used um, I put them together because I don't have a big yarn. So right, so I used the, I combined them together because I don't have a big enough yarn, and um, this is the beginning. So I'm probably gonna cut a lot because I don't want this to be extremely long since most of the patterns are. Sorry, my roommate just left. Since most of the patterns are repetitive, rep rep repetitive, you know, that's yeah. So I'm just gonna start with my foundation chain and just ah, and just keep going and yeah, I'll meet you up when I get to my my required length. So just keep making a foundation chain. Okay, so this is where my foundation chain has gotten to so far. I realized that I haven't, I didn't mention how um, long I'm going to, when I'm going to stop. So I just keep making foundation chains until, is it like what, four millimeters? Four inches of so. So, so I just keep going until it reaches um, my desired length, which is like eight inches. So I think I stop around here. So I just have to keep on, keep on keeping on, I guess. Or I make it longer, let's just see how, how it goes. Hello again. Okay, so I just realized that at some point this is kind of becoming like a tutorial, even though, uh, well, well, we just, <laughs> sorry, let's just see how it goes. Okay, so as I, I decided to measure the length and I decided to make the length like, they can see the end, 10 inches because that is um, my length I wanted and. Um, Oh, might as well go full tutorial. Okay, so what I measured was from the center of my head to like my brows, which was about eight inches. And I said to add two extra inches because the beanie is going to like bend like this, that, that, that type thing. So yes, that's what, that's what we're going for here. So after we've gotten the required length, we chain one, and we're going to be doing um half double crochets so how to do that is you will take the um, in the second chain from the hook that is not you ignore this one if you can't see that properly you ignore this one here and they go here and then you take this bad boy you go into here and you draw it back out so you have three loops on your hook and then you just take here and you um, and you just yeah drag it through all the loops. So we do it again. You take a loop uh, that you go in 
into here the next one you bring it out you have three hoops three loops on your hook and then you take this and you drag it through and there's that and we Oh, I forgot something. I want to. You want. I want to create a ribbon. So ribbon effect. So it's gonna go back. Oops. Bless you. So to do the, you know what? <laughs> yeah. Okay. So I just realized that. You know what? Let's just continue. And I'm not very good. At I am not very good with tutorials. So, anyways, doing that again. We start off in this one here. We ignore that first, the first um, chain we made, and then we go to the next, and we have three, and then pull through, and then we have two, and we have one rather, and then we take a that, and we put it in there, and we take another one, and we have three loops on our hook, and then take one, and we pull it through. And then you keep doing that till you get to. Mm, I keep forgetting I'm not making a single crochet. And then you keep doing that till you get to like the end of your chain. So we're just gonna keep going. You yarn over. I don't know if this is very clear. You put in the next loop. You do this. You bring it out. That is. Three, and then you pull through. And then you do it again. Going through. Pull it. Um, I think they are called half double crochets. I think so. So I would, as it's getting long, I'll see you at the end. Okay. Okay. So I'm back, and then this should be. Ah, uh, here. Okay, so I left five stitches towards the end, I guess. One, two, three, four, five, yes. So, um, these last five stitches, I am going to be doing single, cro single crochets because this will be towards the top of my beanie, and that is where I'm going to be closing it. So, a single crochet here. And I am going to mark that spot because knowing me, I probably will forget it. And I still don't want to be counting every single time I get there. So let's see, which one should I use today? Let's use pink today. <sighs> yeah, I don't have stitch markers. I don't really feel like going to get any. So, office clips there. Office clips is what we use today because I don't want to get stitch markers okay so i think it should be here i guess i don't know oh, let's hope for the best i will do that okay so taking my lovely little thing and going into some crochets so that is here do we sing crochet here i don't even know if you can see this because i picked it has a big black a and then we go here. Should be the third one, I guess. Black. And four. And five. And then we take it through, and then we do this. Boom. So we're, we are at the end of our, what you call it. And yeah. This is the end, I guess. Yeah. So, half double crochets here and single crochets towards the top. And that is going to be the top of my hat. So, I'm going to chain one and turn. And. Okay, so after that, this is where things get relatively interesting. So, I'm going to find the back loops of this, whatchamacallit. So that will be, if you look through here, they have two loops normally, then we'll give me a minute. What is this? My other, other hook. My two millimeter hook. Yay! 
that's like three you've seen so far i think okay so moving on so if we look here uh, can we see that if we look here we have two loops this one right here meh I don't know if you can see this properly. Let's see. Okay, another one. Look at that. Another. Okay, so there are two loops. One in front here. If I split it down the middle here, you can see. If you can see properly, this one with the blue is the back loop. And here in front and this here is the front loop there are actually two loops here here and here so what we're going to be doing is walking in just one of them and that is the one away from us the 